I'm Rory Sears with Greg Venuto. All right. Okay, guys. Welcome to the third session. Now we can relax a little bit. We've isolated our wrists. So it could take weeks, maybe a couple months. And, uh, but we've isolated our wrists. So we can now relax a little bit, you know, and not worry about that stiff kind of a thing. So I want to... As far as rudiments, you know, two, two things. I hope you're playing, I hope you're playing beats like, like we all do as drummers. Don't worry, this is something else, this is technique. You know, but have fun playing the drums and playing beats. Uh, you know, 15 minutes, two times a day, if you, if you have a chance, you can practice this stuff, you know. But don't stop playing, you know. Yeah, uh, don't stop playing or playing beats or any, or, or to, to your CDs, whatever, whatever you do. Now we can relax. We can relax our fingers around the stick loosely. We've got our firm fulcrum, but we can relax. Some one rudiment that is a good rudiment is a paradiddle, whether it's a double or a single, a single paradiddle. Very easy. Right, left, right, right, or left, right, left, left. Very slowly, left, right, left, left, very easy, a double, we add on, right, left, right, right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, right, that's why we isolate the wrist. So we can come down, we can play up if we need to, but we can go. We have that control. This is all about control, uh, isolating the wrist at first. We can do this to music, do our parallels to music, single and double. And as time goes by, increase the speed. And you know, don't uh, like beats. Play your foot what's comfortable. Maybe one and three. Then maybe in a, in a, a couple weeks. So another thing I want to work on. We got our parallel. Another good thing to work on is a four-stroke rough, which is. And this is a good one to isolate the wrist. And we have two triplets. And on six, we pick up with either hand on six. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and come down with the same hand. And that gets into playing doubles, that, uh, grace notes, which is just dropping the stick, which gets into doubles, bouncing. So at first, but first, look, we need to go slow. Our, our four-stroke rough uh, in my method would be one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one. Very hard. Six. You want to either go up too far or, or you're not coming down. You, you're coming down too low. So it's a very good thing to work on. And what happens is by four, five, six, maybe you may want to accent that note halfway. Ha halfway coming down, you accent that note on six. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, one. On one, I mean. Five, six, one. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So by axing the note on one, it makes it even more difficult. And uh, so you start getting into this. You get that to really a lot of power, but very low. Low type of stuff. And uh, after that, 
one other thing you can work on is just a drag, which after you have your rough, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, just practice doing drags. You don't need to, you don't need to alternate. Just drop that stick. Now you don't want to just, you want to, just drop the stick. Just drop the right stick or drop the left stick. And start working on stuff like that. Because after the end of, at the end of the day, when you really play, you break the rules anyway, right? If you're doing a fill, you're going to go like... I mean, we break the rules. This stuff is, uh, is to have great technique and control, so whatever you want to do can come to you. Very subtle stuff, uh, 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 very difficult stuff. You have all kinds of power and control. And uh, that's why this stuff is so important. And uh, I hear a lot of, I see a lot of guys doing a lot of things, but I think that simple, just that simple, easy stroke. take something another another reason why we isolate the wrist if, if I try to go like this right I'm using my forearms so say I really want to speed up how am I going to do that if I'm using just forearms it's impossible how am I going to do that if I'm using just forearms? And you, know, you can really beat the crap out of the drums. Now, I know I'm going very fast. So this is way, way ahead. But you see the, the important thing about isolating the wrist. It's nothing like... Uh, it's really about really playing in a loose way. And next week, we'll get into fingers. And, but, uh, but, but the paradiddle... Right? And, and, and speed it up. Play the music. The, the rough. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And try to accent on one if you can. And the drag. Two little notes. Those two little notes right before the stick drops. And you don't, you don't, you don't need to be strict. Just make sure you get the... The main stick on one, two, three, four, or whatever. One, two, three. Four. You just want to drop that stick, and that's going to lead lead us that little tiny those two little notes. It's going to lead us into next week's lesson, which is we're going to start getting into bouncing and fingers and put everything together. You know, so you'll see how it all it's 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 about the fulcrum, the fingers, the wrist, the forearms, and bouncing. And it all comes together, and you'll be able to do things other guys can't do. You know. So, uh, till next week. All right.